Curofano. Yeah, I just wanted to do an update of my Andrew Kirkham Custom Striker Collection. And yeah, I've been so blessed that I've, um, yeah, one, found a little bit of um, finance to, um, yeah, to, to afford these, these things, um, which has, yeah, taken uh, quite a long time. Um, but also, yeah, big thanks to Dean, because I, I never would have, um, well, and, and Dominic Minichetti, um and then Nathan, so it all goes back to Nathan. I found um, Dominic in the comment section of a Nathan video, and then um, found Dean <laughs> in the comment section of a Dominic Minichetti uh, video, and um, yeah, and of course um, Dean had some strikers made by uh, Andrew Kirkham, so I jumped on that train as well, and yeah, this is what I've got, friends. Um, so when I started out, I saw Dean had the Scottish snail. Um, so yeah, I thought, what a beautiful striker. Never never saw one of them before. So had to have one. And then, um, and then Dean also had the Mini R. Um, so you can either go that way or and and I would I would um as Dean would say um yeah go for the pinch grip I would all, yeah also recommend rather than quite a few people go that way and yeah you're just gonna open yourself up to lots of trouble and cutting yourself where yeah if you learn that pinch grip um yeah, it's um, it's a good technique, and I think from there, I want to say I went to the King's Crown, and um, yeah, mine's slightly different from Dean's, um, which is good, um, but yeah, I I love those twists, um, and I love this design where you can fit your little pinky in there um you've got that gap there but these are actually excellent to hold on to um the twists especially in the pinch grip which uh as i come to these um inspired me to carry that on into that design um so from there i think i went to to this design um and again i'd i'd seen this design um so yeah, I wanted a bigger version, and I actually like that cut out there. It's actually good to grip, um, and anywhere on this is actually good to good to grip. So I went to that, and then um, yeah, I saw the old iron cabin, um, and they had these things, and I was, yeah for. Yeah, I tried so hard to contact them and try and, um, but their website just wouldn't play ball. And yeah, it was a nightmare trying to buy one through them. So I had um, Andrew make me that style. And, and again, I, I quite like that style too. Um, everything about it uh, lends itself towards the pinch grip. And then when I had that done, I actually had the rat and the snake done at the same time. Um, and this thing is an absolute beast. It's um, the biggest, baddest um, striker of, yeah, I own. And it's um, the detail in the head is quite incredible. Might be a little bit of rust there. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. Beautiful striker. And it, it took me a while to get used to that because it's a um, real chunky strike face. Um, 
I needed to adjust my technique a bit where that stripe face is a lot thinner. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, the rat, and I quite like the rat because um, the tail, again, he's given me something to um, pinch, but yeah. Which uh, led to these three. So it's almost like a bit of a reverse of the King's Crown. Um, and these bits are, are good for hooking your finger into. Same as I wanted that gap there. In between the twists and the twists. Because um, they're just so good for the pinch grip. Um, but these were custom designed to go inside my... Um, three containers um that was for my round container that i found at a thrift store my 1700 um ted cash and that was for the uh lens um and i keep forgetting the name of that um yeah i'll, I'll come back to it my memory is terrible um and this little wee thing i I actually commissioned him to do this ages ago and it's got his um, mark on there and ages ago um, Mad Dog had a um, competition on striking the smallest striker um, with a bit of flint and I tried to make one out of a file but yeah it was just so tricky to get as small as I wanted to so I actually commissioned um, Andrew to make that. Um, yeah, and it was funny because <laughs> it wasn't long after, oh, it might have been a while after that. Um, yeah, Beaver Bushcraft brought out their little mini set. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So there we go, friends. Um, my Andrew Kirkham custom flint steel striker collection. So another quick look, snake, king's crown, old iron cabin, um, yeah I like that design, me rat, Scottish snail, mini R type, and then um, yeah, whatever the, you want to call these. And me little wee tiddler at the end. Yeah, so if uh, anyone wants a striker, um, yeah, contact. I'll, I'll, I'll drop um, and Andy's um, link in the comment section there. And um, yeah, just contact him via Facebook. Um, take a screenshot and um, give him the draw up the dimensions of what you want, and and he can um, he can get pretty close um, to what you want. Um, and he always chucks in flint, but yeah, I I always sing his praises because um, very very good blacksmith, and um, yeah, lucky to um, have his work. And um, yeah, thank you, Dean. So from Jason here in rural, rural water, New Zealand, get out there and have some fun with flint and steel. Um, I started off with a broken file, but yeah, it is nice to um, have a nice fancy striker. Um, yeah, something cool about having something. Um, yeah, and if you design it yourself, it's... Um, it's personal, isn't it? And, um, yeah. So from me here in rural water, New Zealand, hope you enjoyed that little show of the Andrew Kirkham Striker Collection. Ka kite anō.